the other piece from Mark. Remember at the end of seals, or at the end of the sixth seal, the sixth year of seals, and they see the Lord coming on what? Well, he's not coming feet down on the Mount of Olives yet. Remember, he's in the clouds. It's Mark's portion. He's not coming on the clouds, so it's not like everybody's going to fully see. They're, they might be screaming, ah, <clears throat> you know. But it's not when he comes feet down on the Mount of Olives. And that's exactly what you get here in, in Second Esdras. You see, it says, then he's what? Then shall he be revealed. Uh, 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 an innumerable multitude will be gathered together, as you saw, desiring to come and conquer him. You see? This is that end of the first six years of seals, that first sword, that first battle that's going to take place. And look at where he's going to be. But he shall stand on top of Mount Zion. And Zion will come and be made manifest to all people prepared and built, as you saw, a mountain carved without hands. Well, now hold on a second. If he's coming feet down on the Mount of Olives, why would he be standing on Mount Zion and Mount Zion be manifest as, as a mountain carved without hands? Hello. Why? <laughs> because it's him coming with paradise. It's him coming on heavenly Mount Zion with a place prepared and built. This is your... Excuse me, this is your mid-trib rapture mark group, your great multitude. When? After the first sword. This is why you go to Ezekiel. Where are you? <clears throat> this is why, whoops, this is why when you go to Ezekiel chapter 39, you see the Gog Magog War. And it says that they'll burn weapons for seven years. Right? We've explained what that means. The seven years of burning weapons is the seventh year of seals, six years of trumpets before the Lord has his next battle. That's seven years. And that's why you have scripture that says they're, they're, they're turning their weapons into pruning hooks and so forth. And then there's other scripture, I think in Isaiah, that talks about your pruning hooks and, and, and so forth being turned into spears. It's pretty crazy stuff, but it gets better than this because it goes on to say, and seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing them. Who is the house of Israel, brothers and sisters? The house of Israel is the great multitude rapture mark group. It's, it's the whole world and the Gentiles grafted in. Remember, the, the 10 tribes, the house of Israel, scattered throughout the whole earth and the Gentiles mixed in, mingled. Nobody knows who they are anymore. They mingled together. So who is the house of Israel? It's the mid-trib, great multitude, rapture mark group. Look at what it says. It says they're going to be burying the dead first. This is why after that battle, that Gog of Magog battle, at the end of the sixth year of seals, when the Lord comes on heavenly Mount Zion, that's exactly what this battle is right here. This is why they will have seen him come. There'll be a battle that takes place of the Gog Magog War. Antichrist is killed. The rest have their dominion taken away, like Daniel tells us. And the Lord will then seal the 144. The great multitude rapture will come in. But we know they don't go right away. There, there, there's going to be a cleanup. It, it's right there. We can show in the revelation of the 14 years and, the, and who the Gospels are speaking to, every single piece and point that has been mysterious to understand within Ezekiel chapter 39. We can explain the seven years of burning weapons where the world will tell you that the Ezekiel 39 war is coming first, uh, then how do you have seven years of burning weapons during World War III? Doesn't make any sense. Some others will tell you, well, it's the seven years of burning weapons after the tribulation. Why would, they be, why would there be a need to burn weapons for seven years of the 1,000 millennial reign? You see? Some will tell you, oh, they need it for fuel. <laughs> no. 
<clears throat> that's that it, it doesn't even make sense. It's the revelation of 14 years that proves it to you. And then we can prove this out. And what is the answer to this? It's what we were just showing you over in the transfiguration story of Mark. They will have seen the Lord coming, but they won't know when it is. <laughs>